Hello, this is my lap six for serving motors. So first off, I'm gonna start by demonstrating my wiring. Uh, so we have it unplugged just to be sure. Uh, to start out, we'll leave that for the time being unplugged. Um, and we have our wiring of the potentiometer um, and the middle one controls um, the range that's hooked up to A1 where we want it to read analog. Um, so it has a range um and then also we have our servo motor pump which came mine came from the arduino minnow kit uh, we have this wired up the yellow one goes to um our digital pin um and that will be we want our digital uh to be an output so and then we have a ground common ground um for the potentiometer and the um servo motor so so for the code uh we have some variables declared at the top um and then so basically we're gonna as stated before we we're gonna want to define um pin five as output uh, for the servo motor and for um our input we want to have that be the potentiometer which it's hooked up to pin a1 uh, because we're going to want to control the range, um, so range of, with the potentiometer, so it's going to send in um, a result to the Arduino, and we're going to get out a rotational motion for the servo motor. So, basically, we want the um, potenti potentiometer, um, we want to read those values, um, so we're going to do an analog read. So whenever we rotate it, it's just gonna, um, it's gonna read what that value is, um, and that's gonna be from a scale of zero to 1023, um, which we see in our duty cycle. Um, our time period, I found that um, this time period in microseconds worked best. Um, and so then we go down to the bottom, and we see that, um, well, first off, for um, digital, digital write, um, for PWM, uh, we need um, we need a pulse, so it's we want to have it high for a certain amount of time and low for a certain amount of time. Now, for those times, I found that 750 worked best for um, my servo motor. Now, this again is the servo motor that comes from the Arduino kit, and um, I use that for my uh, time control um, and so basically the la in the last part um, since we want to set the um, code to degrees um, there the uh, map um, map command in uh, Arduino basically sets of takes a range of values in our case our values are 0 to 1023 because that's the um poten potentiometer range and it converts it to another range in this case we want it to read a range of negative 90 to 90 um so this accomplishes that and prints out the corresponding uh degrees um so and when we print it out we're just printing out value so Let's run it, upload it, and make sure it's working all right. And we'll want to get, plug that in all the way. And, okay. Now, we'll open the serial monitor. So right now, you see it's set to 68 degrees. Now, if we rotate it towards the middle, so straight up, it's about almost zero degrees right there. Okay, now we'll rotate it all the way to 90. And that is 90 degrees. And if we want to rotate it all the way to the other angle, we can accomplish this and take it of 90. And that's all the way to the right. And uh, that's about it. Thank you.